After rescuing the hobbits from Old Man Willow, Tom Bombadil has invited Frodo and his friends to stay the night in his house. There they are greeted warmly by his wife, Goldberry, the River Daughter. <coughs> Hello and welcome back to The Line Unbroken, my series in which I am playing through each of the scenarios of the Lord of the Rings living card game in turn, using only cards which were available at the time of the release, in imitation of the existing LTR LCG progression series. Here I am continuing my campaign mode playthrough of the Lord of the Rings saga with the first fellowship event quest from 2014 fog on the barrow downs here's my campaign mode and here is house of tom bombadil so teach a copy of great barrow standing stones and hollow circle side out of play there they are shuffle the encounter deck i have put my campaign pool cards into the encounter deck i've also got old bogey stories from the last quest here you are playing campaign mode, and while any player is at stage 4b, the first player cannot lose control of the first player token. Even in the Shire, the rumour of the Barrow Whites of the Barrow Downs beyond the forest had been heard, but it was a tale that any hobbit liked to listen to. Sorry, it was not a tale that any hobbit liked to listen to, even by a comfortable fireside far away. Opening hands. Here I have the, <coughs> the means to make both... Merry and Aragorn ranged straight off. I've got Steward straight off, Sneak Attack Gandalf, and Dagger of Westerness. And on this side, Daron's Runes, Fast Hitch, Test of Will, Sylvan Refugee, Unexpected Courage, Protector of Lorien. It's all good stuff. So. Let us shut out the night, she said, for you are still afraid, perhaps, of mist and tree shadows and deep water and untamed things. Fear nothing, for tonight you are under the roof of Tom Bombadil. Skip the quest phase. Forced at the end of the round, place one progress on this stage, so we get a free round. Control in. Out here, another Sylvan refugee. Alright, so. Obviously, we want to get Steward down straight away. And exhaust it. Two resources. Which we'll then spend to put a Dune and Dine cash onto Mary. Then let's pay one for a Dagger of Westerness on Mary. On this side, let's see, we definitely want the fast hitch again on Mary. And yeah, let's get out a Sylvan Refugee straight away <coughs> for some more willpower. And Protector of the Lorien will go on to Sam, I think. So, we skip the quest phase, so no questing, there's no travel, no encounter phase, no combat phase, because there are no locations to travel to or enemies to engage and fight. In the refresh phase, we refresh, Frodo moves a little bit here. Threats go up. And forced at the end of the round, place one progress on this stage. So I place one progress and advance to stage two. After being well rested and well fed in the house of Tom Bombadil, the hobbits resume their journey to Rivendell. They head north towards the east road, hoping to avoid the barrows, but a thick fog settles in around them and they struggle to keep their way. When revealed, add hollow circle to the staging area. Each player reveals one encounter card. So the first player, a dark white, and the second player, a barrow white. Well, that's a little bit unfortunate, because we don't have to engage either of them right away. 
since our threats are fairly low, and Pippin is boosting their engagement costs by two each. They were upon an island in the fog. Even as they looked out in dismay towards the setting sun, it sank before their eyes into a white sea, and a cold grey shadow sprang up in the east behind. Forced at the end of the refresh phase, Rachel uses players threat by one. That does not trigger now, because we placed this one progress at the end of the round, which technically end of the round is after the end of the refresh phase, or they're at the same time, but either way we can we don't have to raise our threat by an equal by an extra one right now. The players cannot defeat this stage unless Hollow Circle is in the victory display. And <coughs> Hollow Circle, of course, is immune to player card effects and travel. Each player searches the encounter deck and discard pile for a white enemy and puts it into play engaged with him. Shuffle the encounter deck. So now, control N, we begin the new round. Draw a card over here. Alright. Trigger stupid over there. Now this round, since there is a quest phase, I would like to save a resource for a test of will. Actually, given that of course we reveal cards when we advance, maybe I should have saved the resource for test of will anyway, since I didn't need the Sylvan Refugee last round, since we weren't questing. But regardless, okay, I have no law cards in hand, so I may as well pay one for my friend's advice and draw two cards. Okay. Saving one for that secret paths may well be a good idea. <coughs> uh, let's play Darren's Runes. Ooh, well. I might even chuck one of the Test of Will, because I'm not sure that I'll need all three. It's more of a consistency thing. Desperate Alliance obviously is not exactly urgent, but I only have two copies in the deck, and it's nice to have available just in case, so I am in an unusual move going to chuck Test of Will. Over here, let's see, I've got two sneak attacks ready to go. Let's play a Rivendell Bow onto Aragorn. Snowborn Scout would only be good as a chump blocker because the Hollow Circle is immune to player card effects, so I can't put progress there. Let's see, how much attack will I need to kill something? Kill this Barrow White. It'd be seven attack. Mary would be two, four. So add an Aragorn and that would be enough. Add an Aragorn and Sam, and I could do a Dark White instead. Of course, I also have Sneak Attack Gandalf available. So, alright, there is. 8 threat in the staging area, and I'd quite like to go at a reasonable pace. So let's see, 2, 5. <coughs> 7, 9, 11. 13. Yeah, I think that's going to be reasonable. So, okay, 
reveal. I'm waiting for you. Each white enemy engaged with the player makes an immediate attack. If no attacks were made this way, against surge. So that's nothing, and surge. Cold white. And another cold white. Far too many enemies. Uh, but alright, that's added four threat to the staging area. So as it stands, I'm making one progress. I could make use of Fatty to make a little bit more. But, uh, let's see, um, suppose, uh, yeah, let's go for it. So, exhausting fatty, targeting the barrow white, and raising my threat by three to cancel its threat. So I, in fact, I make four progress. Now, I don't want to travel to the hollow circle right now because it will give me more whites and I already have more than I'd like. So instead, I will move straight on to engaging this barrow white, which will ready Sam. And then I'm going to play Sneak Attack, Gandalf, and draw three cards. Alright, the Faint will be very helpful. Gandalf will defend, so he takes one damage, that's fine. And now I've got two, six, nine attack, and we needed seven. Barrow White is destroyed. Gandalf will pop back to my hand. And <coughs> we control N. Frodo jumps back over here. Look out of this deck. Both decks raise their threat by an additional one. So steward. Let's get down King Under the Mountain right away. And use it. Take Campfire Tales and discard the spare King Under the Mountain. Then let's play Campfire Tales. Excellent. Alright. Pay three for the sword that was broken. There are no leadership cards in the second deck, of course. It's just here for the willpower. But the willpower boost will be very useful. Now, I might like to hold on to this last resource for Balin's ability rather than play the Dunedain Mark as much as I would like the Dunedain Mark. Or alternatively, I can use it for Sneak Attack Gandalf. I have options. Tactics resource can only be used for a feint, but I probably would have saved it for the feint regardless. Over here, I would very much like to play Arwen, or Unexpected Courage, but I'd also quite like to have a resource available for testing will. Let's play my kind of advice and draw two cards. Hmm. Well, I can't afford Gildor's Council, obviously. see here. Um, three, five, seven, nine. <coughs> I 
nine threat in the staging area. And I'll be questing for two, four, seven, ten, thirteen. If I don't play anything more. Cold whites are, of course, the easiest to kill. Um, uh, Mary will be attacking for five. Okay, no. I, I will leave it. And I'll quest for 13, as I said. I'm not even questing with Mary because I want him available to attack twice. So I can clear out all of these enemies. Oh, okay, dreadful song. Peril, and this is the first player's card. Attached to a questing hero you control, condition attachment with the text. Limit one per hero, attached heroes. Willpower is reduced to zero. Forced at the end of the round, raise your threat by one for each white enemy engaged with you. I don't really want to lose the willpower, so I'm going to pay one and exhaust the one ring to shuffle that in. <coughs> Reveal instead an ancient barrow. Okay, so after it enters play, place an ally face down under it. There's only one. It does reduce my willpower by three. And it is two threat. And ancient barrow, there are no allies for it to take, so it's only one threat. Does mean I'm up to 12 threat in the staging area. But I will play Secret Paths on this Ancient Barrow to reduce that by 2. And I think I will leave it at that. Now let's travel to this Ancient Barrow. And now, let's engage a couple of whites. Let's have a cold white here, and let's take a dark white here, and draw a card with Pippin. Now let's see, I think I will faint this one, and then this one will be defended by Fatty, so that's only one damage, and now we attack back. So Mary is of course swinging for five, and Aragorn for three. So the cold white is dead. Mary will ready using fast hitch. And I will use Mary's ability to ready Aragorn. And once again we're attacking for a total of eight, which kills off the dark white. The threat is going down. There's only six up there now. Could 
control N. Extra point of threat each. Steward and King. And of course this deck draws a card. Right. Don't think I want to use Shadow of the Past. No, I don't want to stick that dark white back up there. Let's play down Arwen. <coughs> and I suppose I might... I think I have to just save my law resources for Gilgal's Cancel. Here, yeah, let's give Mary a second dagger of Westerness. Let's play this Snowbond Scout. Now I'll put the progress on the Ancient Barrow that is active to just speed through a bit faster. Put Calabrian Stone onto Aragorn. Hmm. Actually, given that, I want to do a quest with him, so I'm going to change the play over here and make it Unexpected Courage rather than Arwen. And then a Doomedine Mark onto Merry. There's no particular reason to spread out the attack boost since I have made Merry ranged and he's got a readying effect. So, as I said, the sixth threat in the staging area. So, two, five, eight, thirteen, sixteen. Now he's going to be attacking for six. That's pretty good. So we reveal Stone Ring while it's in the staging area. Each white enemy engaged with a player gets plus one attack and plus one defense, and applies the first sentence of its game text to each player at the stage as if it were engaged with him. And another dark white. So I added five threat. Unless I make five progress. One, two, three, four, five. This comes back to my hand. Now, <coughs> uh, the stone ring is really a problem. Oh, I intended to play Gildal's Council, didn't I? Easy, so easy to forget things like that. But I suppose let's leave it. I'm going to travel to the Stone Ring because I don't want the whites getting their stats boosted. Now, 
Oh, let's see. Um, I possibly could kill both of these. It's just a question of defending them. So, I, yeah. I will optional both, like this. Meaning that Sam readies and this deck draws a card from Pippin. Okay, that's handy, because it means that if the condition comes out again, I can just discard it rather than needing to cancel the card. attack Gandalf and draw three cards. So once again Fatty will defend. Alright, Shadow Card is Gildor. Here, Gandalf will defend. Oh, in fact, he does take one damage. Gandalf does not take any damage. So now, we attack for a lot and kill the Dark White and ready Aragorn with Merry. And then we pay two for Shadow of the Past. Put Gildor back on top of the encounter deck. And then, actually, I think, yeah, Mary can kill the Gold White on his own. Gandalf pops back to my hand. He'd raise up threats by an additional one for the quest stage. Draw in. Steward King. Take Campfire Tales and ditch half the determination. Play Campfire Tales. And I didn't draw my normal card for the round here. Right, so this round I'm going to play Gildor's Cancel, and the only card that will be revealed in staging is Gildor. And so then I'm going to travel to the Hollow Circle, because I can definitely deal with it. Everything is predictable at this point. I have a feint available, I have another sneak attack available. I suppose I don't really want to play anything here. But over here I need to keep three law resources to pay for Gildor's Council. Of course Aragorn currently has a spirit icon and I know that I'm not getting any more threat. So I can put down Arwen or another Unexpected Courage. Uh, I'm going to go with Arwen. So, now questing, 
there is four threat in the staging area. Let's quest for two, four, seven. Twelve, fifteen, seventeen, twenty, and Arwen will target Sam. And I will remember to play Gildor's Council. So we reveal Gildor. And nothing else. So 20 versus 4. So I have enough progress on the quest stage, I just need to get Hollow Circle into the victory display. So let's travel there now. Each player searches the encounter deck and discard power for a white enemy and puts it into play. Engage with him, shuffle the encounter deck. So let's see. Let's take a cold white on the one side and a dark white on the other. So Sam readies and this deck draws a card. Deal out shadow cards. Gildor. We'll defend this one. Since Sam got readied, his stats also got boosted, so along with the boost from Arwen, he's now defending for three. And a sentinel. So no oh no, of course, one damage to Gildor. <coughs> That's fine. Don't have another shadow of the past, but I have Frodo available, so that's also fine. Mary can kill this by himself. Um, and the Dark White, actually. He can kill that by himself as well. Because he's attacking for three Hobbit heroes. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's move these back over here. Oh, because I will be spending one fellowship resource to keep Gildor in play. Control M. Steward and King. Hmm. Like a Western S or Cram. I think I'll take the dagger. Now, I'm back to the point where I don't know what I'm getting off the encounter deck. I, I did not remember to shuffle the encounter deck. Because I, it's not like I memorized it, so it didn't change anything, but technically I should have. It's left in its 18 cards. I will shuffle it now. So, I don't need to put down a ton of willpower. I suppose I can play this fast hitch. Um, and I might put it on Sam, since he's turning into a pretty good defender. Particularly with getting boosted by Arwen. And that will be it for this deck. Over here... I could put down Build a Pony, but I don't particularly need to. I will 
pay one for the stack of westerness onto Aragon. Oh, uh, wait, hang on. Take back that fast H. I want protector of Lorien on Aragon. And that should all be fine. So, there is one threat in the staging area, and all I need to do is clear this three quest point location. So let's quest for two, five, eight, thirteen, sixteen. That's kind of too much, really. That takes it back to 11. That could go up to 14. But maybe 11 is fine. 11 then. Right? 12. Here we go. North Downs! I've been waiting for this. While North Downs is in the staging area, characters use their willpower instead of defense when defending against white enemies, which is fantastic for Aragorn and well, Aragorn with sword and stone and Sam just in general. So I will not be exploring this location. And frozen by fear, surge doomed one till the end of the round. Players cannot trigger action or response effects. <sighs> I might actually be okay with that. I mean, okay, so. Surgeon Doomed One, obviously. But of all the times this could happen, it's not too bad right now. So I'll let it happen, and you know, maybe I'll regret it, but nope, another North Downs. That is absolutely fine. So I make seven progress. Three, four, six, seven. There's one, two, men. Hollow Circle is in the victory display, so I advanced to stage three. Lost in the fog. The light was now gone, and clinging night had closed about him, so that it was impossible to be sure of any direction. When revealed, the first player adds standing stones to the staging area. Each other player reveals one encounter card. Shuffle the encounter discard pile each copy of Great Barrow into the encounter deck. So, we add standing stones. Each other player, so this deck, reveals one encounter card. Stone ring. And then, we shuffle the discard pile and all five great barrows into the encounter deck. So there we go. That is all shuffled. Progress cannot be placed here while great barrow is in play. Forced after a player is eliminated at any stage, raise the threat of each player at this stage by ten. The players cannot defeat this stage unless each player in the game is at this stage and standing stones is in the victory display. And if the players defeat this stage, they win the game. So Got a few too many locations up there. Standing Stones. I could go to Standing Stones, but it would stick this player into a barrow, which would leave me with a bit less willpower available to me than I might like, particularly with eight threat remaining in the staging area. So I'm going to go to the stone ring instead. Uh, and 
that's that. At the end of the round, I don't have to raise my threat by an additional one. I will pay the one fellowship resource to keep Gildor in play. And control M. So, steward, king. Take Shadow of the Past, discard the sword, because I already have one. There's much I really want to do at this point. So I guess I'll leave that. Now over here, <sighs> refugees could be a good idea. Gandalf could be a good idea. Another unexpected courage could be a pretty good idea. I'm going with the extra unexpected. Oh, actually, yes, I will pay one for this Doom Dime Mark. And put it on Aragorn. There is, of course, a point to spreading out the attack boosts when we can potentially be split up. Yes, and then I'll play that unexpected courage. And I will now play the fast hitch onto Sam. So, nine threat in the staging area. So, quest for three, five. Seven, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-three, twenty-six. It doesn't matter who I'm. Well, actually, I suppose it matters who I'm targeting with her for the Sentinel, though not the defense boost because of North Downs. <laughs> so it will still be Sam. Uh, so what was I? It was 15 on this side, 20, 23, 26. And we reveal. Long growth being on peril. Until the end of the phase, each white enemy engaged with you contributes a threat to the total threat in the staging area. If no enemies are engaged with you, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a white enemy and put it into play engaged with you. Shuffle the encounter deck. Alright. I can deal with that. Um, right, engagement costs are plus two, so Barrow White will not ready Sam. Cold White is fine, however. Um, yeah. And that increases my willpower by one. Uh, but it does add. Add two threat to the staging area. And a great barrow, okay. 
So at four stars, to the Grey Barrow enters the staging area, remove, remove each character you control from the quest and create your own staging area, then advance to a separate stage 4A by yourself. So that removes this player, which is 5, 8, 11 willpower. And they advance to stage 4A. Then suddenly he knew that he was imprisoned, caught hopelessly. He was in a barrow. When revealed, end your quest phase. Do not resolve the quest. Discard cards from the encounter deck until a white enemy is discarded. Add the discarded white enemy to the staging area. Discard all but X allies you control where X is the number of enemies engaged with you. So. Okay, that great barrow is discarded. This dark white is added to this player's staging area. And unfortunately, since we are engaged with no enemies over here, Arwen is discarded. Then a wild thought of escape came to him. Forced, when a location is revealed at this stage, cancel its effects. When discarded, then raise your threat by that card's threat, including modifiers. Forced, after this stage is defeated, advance to stage 3b at the beginning of the travel phase, combining staging areas with stage 3b, and place one progress on a great barrow at that stage. Now we come back to this deck, which does still have to resolve the quest. There's 16 willpower against 12 threat, so we make 4 progress, but progress cannot be placed on stage 3 while a great barrow is in play, which it is. So, this deck obviously has no travel to deal with, you can't have other locations around when there's a barrow. When you're in a barrow, rather. The only location is the barrow that you are in, essentially. Now, this deck however, has to travel. Can't travel to the Great Barrow. So you need fire card effects and the players cannot travel here. So, what I'm going to do now is, I am going to travel to the Standing Stones. So, travel, the first player searches the encounter deck, discard pile, and victory display for a great barrow, and adds it to the staging area. Shuffle the encounter deck. That will take it out of the encounter deck to lessen the chances of getting more great barrows in the future since I know there is one in the discard pile. So, this deck is now also at stage 4. So we discard cards until the white is discarded. And there's Tom Bombadil. Right. Now this, of course, is the staging area of stage 3, which has no players at it. So it's just going to sit here and not do anything for a while. And now, of course, this deck is engaged with one enemy. So it has to discard all allies it controls but one, which is going to be Gildor. And we'll keep the Snowborn Scout. Now we move into the encounter phase. I will optionally engage this cold white. So Sam has been boosted twice now. And since the North Downs is no longer in the staging area of that either player is at, we are defending with defense again rather than willpower. But Sam, having been boosted twice by engaging enemies and once by Arwen, is currently defending for four. I can also boost that further with Protector of Lorien. On this side, this deck will engage the Dark White and draw a card from Pippin. Then Grand, very useful. Oh. Yes. So, deal out Shadow cards now, and then I will pay. Two. 
actually hang. There might be something that causes additional attacks. Or additional shadow cards, I don't remember. So just on the off chance that's the case, I will wait to shadow of the past guild or back onto the top of the encounter deck until then. Until after resolving the attacks. Um, right, of course. I am not going to be able to kill both of these unless... Yeah, okay, so... Sneak Attack, Gandalf. Cannot draw cards, don't want to anyway. Draw my threat by five. And then I'm actually going to chump block. So, Snowborn Scout defends. It's destroyed. False. After Cold White attacks and destroys a character, that character's controller discards a random card from his hand. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that isn't anything that will cause an extra attack, so I will actually do that now. Just to be sure I'm not going to lose it. So that's fine. And Sam defends four. So that's fine. Over on this side, Aragorn defends. Raise your threat by one for each damage dealt by this attack. Well, I will discard Gandalf to protect your Lorien and take no damage. So now. Sam is attacking for three. So he and Gandalf can kill. Oh, this guy is dead. Cold White and Merry can kill the other Cold White. Aragorn is attacking for three, four, five, six. Fatty attacks for one. So seven. unfortunate that I can't get one additional attack, but it's okay. Now, per the campaign card, while any player is at stage 4b, the first player cannot lose control of the first player token, which means that Frodo stays where he is. This side the second desperate alliance. Steward and king. Hmm. Let's grab Faramir. Now uh, let's now play Build a Pony for free since I have Sam. Let's play Faramir. I could just hard cast Gandalf. Of course, I know that this deck, all it's going to reveal is Gildor. Uh, which means it'll have an empty staging area, and thus just needs to quest for 9. 2, 4, 7. Hmm. Nine. Or I could exhaust Faramir. Yes, so that's really not an issue. So I guess we'll just leave it. Over here, I will get a card over here that I can't predict. Let's see, I can quest for five, eight. I can play two Sylvan Refugees. Which I will do. Oh, my Sylvan Refugee earlier 
Did I sneak attack Gandalf before she got stuck in a barrel? I don't think I did, but it's possible I messed that up. And I will also pay two to put the Burning Brand onto Aragorn. So, questing. Two, four, seven, nine. And on this side, five, eight, eleven, fourteen. So deck one reveals Gildor, and deck two reveals Frozen by Fear, so it's deemed one. Of course, the doomed only affects this player. <coughs> and let's see, until the end of the round, cannot play it, trigger actions or responses. At this point, I would rather cancel that. And you get a Dark White instead. So that was 14 against 2, and this was 9 against 0. So technically they were the other way around, but it doesn't really matter. Both stages are complete, so at the beginning of the travel phase, both rejoin stage three and explore these two great barrows. And of course, now we are defending with willpower again, which is fantastic. So let's engage this dark white. Sam readies. Deal out shadow cards. Sam is defending for four willpower. Uh, plus one attack to three attack makes four attack. So that's still fine. And over here, Aragorn will defend for 5 willpower, and the shadow effect would have been cancelled if there was one. And now Mary can kill this, and Aragorn can kill this. Since no one is at stage 4 anymore, these guys do move. I'm spending the Fellowship resource to keep Gildor in play. And I'm going to trigger Aragorn's ability to drop this deck's threat back down to 25. And king. No, actually, I scratched that. We have had old bogey stories. It's a victory display to essentially take a mulligan and then trigger king under the mountain. Yeah, let's take shadow of the past. Ditch half in the termination. What is the top card of the encounter deck? A dark white. Discard pile. How many great barrels? Right, the discard pile. Two. And one in the victory display, which means there's one left. If I don't get that extra 
great barrel. And I can make 20 progress. Then I will win the game right now. So let's play this number one scout. And put a progress on one copy of North Downs. I only need one to stay in play. Let's put down the mark. And then goes to here. Gandalf, maybe. It would get me a lot of willpower. Frodo has resources to spare. Come on, it's actually keeping Gildor in play. Okay, so. One, three, five. If I put that dark light back on the top of the deck, then it's definite seven threat plus one more card. How much can I quest for? Two, five, seven, eight, eleven, I'm oh, sorry, twelve, fifteen, twenty, twenty-three, twenty-six. 29, 34, potentially 37, two copies of Protective Lorien. I can do this. So there's a 1 in 18 chance that I get that last great barrow and thus don't win straight away. Let's play down from the maggot as well. On this side. <coughs> Two, three, four, five. For Gandalf. It's my request. Two, five, seven, eight, nine. 13, 16, 21, 24, 29, 32, 35 against 5. So I know that the first card is a dark white. Which puts me up to seven. And I need 20 progress. There is no card in the deck that can give me another eight, nine threat all at once. And I still have Faramir and two copies of Protector of Lorien. So it would have to be the Great Barrow. It's not it's an ancient barrow. So stick that under there. And that under there. It doesn't strictly speaking say that the allies leave play. Um which I mean that's been debated of course, as to whether I should now discard my other refugee. But regardless, I've just lost three willpower. If I lost another three, then I would still be questing for 29 against 10. And I would say I still have Faramir and two copies of Protector of Lorien, and so. Three, four, five, six, seven. 
48 war power against 10 threat. Completed it twice. Standing stones. Goes to the victory display, and I have won the quest. At last they set off. They led their ponies down the hill, and then mounting they trotted quickly along the valley. They looked back and saw the top of the old mound on the hill, and from it the sunlight on yeah, the sunlight on the gold went up like a yellow flame. Then they turned a shoulder of the downs, and it was hidden from view. The players have earned the Ho Tom Bombadil Boom card. So I'll be grabbing that for the next quest. Which will, of course, be a knife in the dark. Going back to the Black Riders box. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I am quite pleased with how well this went against this rather difficult quest. Uh, I already said thank you. Thank you again. Goodbye.